This is the band Quick Change. Here we are at the end of a gig on a Saturday Eve on October 20-something. So, Play for thousands of people, as usual. I hope you were going to say dollars. of this band. And so let Dana, oh, the people in this band. Right? Let, well, let Dana Boomer talk about how the Cat Whalers were the free runner to us. Genesis is, it has multiple Genesis. It has multiple sources. Mark and I played in a in a what we call a disrespectful bluegrass band for a, for a good 15 years. And we started to we played here for, for most of that time. It was our, our peak experience. And these two guys and I played in the band in, in uh, UC Santa Barbara, Oldies for Goodies, Shanana Duwap, Sons of Greece, Sons of Greece. And so this is a melding of, of two, two bands. She spent all my money 
Denny was a, the three of us are roommates. I didn't meet Boomer until the tamale parties that Denny is so famous for. Yeah, it's almost like there's two generations of musicians here that just kind of melded together. And yet we're all within a year of each other, I believe. Yeah. Age wise. Yeah, I, I, would, I would think so. I give him a great interview. You might be the oldest one, too. Well, actually, Kevin was. I'm, uh, I'm going to be 72 in December. You win. I got you know, win. Okay, you got. I get seniority. Is it like union stuff? You can tell us what to do. <laughs> and it's amazing like that you. that Dean. He never has the dripping of his uh, hair dye like Giuliani had. Yeah. You know, oh uh, yeah. I, I, I tried Giuliani stuff. And he I, gets better quality. He gets stuff. better quality hair dye. Yeah. Is anybody out there remember uh, Rick Nelson? You're older than uh, some of the people out here. I know a traveling man made a lot of stops all over the world. rehearsing and we were talking about you know I think modulating a song 
and uh, we weren't getting it right, and we kept going over and over, and, and, and we finally somebody said, uh, "You got to do a quick change right there," you know, in a very derogatory way to it. It was probably to you <laughs> as a drummer, <laughs> and uh, okay. and then later on that same day, we thought about the name, and somebody said, "A uh, quick change." I remember it coming out of your mouth first. Well, I was talking, not in the context of a, of a band name. I said it, yeah, in, in the context of a song and, and, and the way we were rehearsing. So, do you like the name? <laughs> because we're going to blame you for it you know, either way. Yeah. Well, you know, compared to the Caterwhalers, I guess I like it, you know. That was a hard marketing name, I think, but that one was... They got it. It, it was always Cata. Caterwhalers or Caterwallers or... It yeah. was never caterpillars. Some really nice things about Dane, which I always say, but he oh, is geez. he's a mentor in the way of learning how to run a band. When we were in college, he was the de facto leader of the Sons of Greece. He, he knows how to put things together, how to go out and get gigs, he knows how to arrange know, the, uh, the you songs. Know, I have to be honest, I, I heard things, I heard things that were really 
challenging to to deliver. Did you say like no? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did, and it was a mature. It was really a maturing process that you guys are responsible for, because it was like, okay, let's talk about practicality. How can how can we actually approximate what we're trying to to figure? Because you can't you can't create perfection like that. Some guys like Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and, and, and these beautiful harmonies are friggin' difficult to do. But you know, uh, you, 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 you you nailed this. The Sons of Greece. I didn't sing back then, you know, but I would, you know, check out the harmonies and try to see if they're any good. My ear was developing too, of course, back in my twenties. But uh, you, you're the one that said, "Let's try this." You two degrees to have some outrageous parties that uh, were up in Santa Barbara, sock ops, all that. And I just wish we had some footage for Boomer to see it. Well, yeah, I envy your guys' college days. I'll tell you, you you were in UC Santa Barbara. Jeez, I mean, that's like I was in South Carolina dreaming about Southern California. No, I guess you see us be just Beach Boys and girls in bikinis and surfboards, and you guys were like there. So we, we learned to be disciplined and shut all that stuff out of our lives. Oh, yeah. oh bullshit. <laughs> shut it all the time. <laughs> you know, I, I was just thinking that the, the, the old adage is really, really true. You got to make a lot of bad music before you can make any good music. And I certainly have made a lot of bad music. Well, why are we going to make the good music? I'm still working on it. <laughs> working on it. You know, I keep saying that I, I, I practice a lot. I try playing a lot of different instruments. And at 71 years old, I'm thinking, why am I doing this? And the answer is so that I can be a savant in my next lifetime. So I can be born and start. now hand me a mandolin or something and I got it down. You know, so that's, that's my future. The next life. <laughs>
As Dane said, he wouldn't say shit, but he had a mouth. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> That's true, though. I would like to integrate bass back into my existence. So you so gotta be able to play drums. That would be cool. You know, they, you know, uh, you did that. Uh, Keith Richard did that. His band, his solo band. He was a, he had a solo band in New Barbarians, and his drummer and his bass player would switch off between songs. I mean, if you are, I, I'd be. Uh, well, I'd like to hear it first. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was really skeptical that's, that's about. A good idea. I was really skeptical about Denny. Denny says, you know, uh, Bob, uh, uh, treat the other third person in the Catawalers, also included uh, Boomer and, and Dane. But Bob died a while back, and so they gave Denny and me a call and said, you know, let's let's do this thing. And I'm thinking, well, I, I love Denny, but Denny played drums, you know. But I was, man, I'm blown we'll away. Tomorrow. I'm blown away. I'm blown <laughs> away by how good a drummer he's become, man. Uh, so that's, that's his minute. Really he, 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 he keeps dying, he sings, he sings, and what's to get, 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 so places in between Well, I'm moving on Tennessee For the place of gold Ten poor baby come back Fall straight on the Cadillac Yeah, you're talking to the cowboy In the Cooper Bell Took a look at up one side Sliding down the other I'm a lover of the other Side of the hill Talk about the rodeo Don't think about the round Up for a shine It's a crazy circuit But still you're worth it Turn up that sound, boys Let's pick up the hill to stand Ten four, baby, come on back Horse trailer on the Cadillac Yeah, you're talking to the cowboy In the group of them This is, is my favorite thing to do. On school. the road again. Yeah. Luckily, we're already doing our bucket list by, by playing like this. It's kind of like, you know, if I wasn't doing this, this would be my bucket list. So I'm grateful to, to do the bucket list. I'm grateful too. I'm grateful we all got started early in music. We all had, we all had that gene where we, no one had to tell us to practice. 
and we would just go out and play. Um, Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, it is. I just, just love going after it all the time. Something, something new. When I get bored, I go learn a new song. Hopefully it keeps the dementia away. <laughs> well, I <just> hope so. <laughs> Supposedly it does. Well, all right, here you go. Thank you for coming to Underwoods. Have a good evening, everybody. Boy, we had our way with that one, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, too much. I just kept playing louder and louder.